88 yards to become number two all-time in pass yards. And he's a good runner. Lamb is going to throw and test that secondary early, and it falls. At Bates, now a freshman All-American last year. We talked about their young receivers. App State comes out throwing, and they'll pick up Tim Moore. Jalen Virgil, Ike Lewis we'll talk about, and Thomas Hennigan, number five. They continue to the throw, and this one nearly intercepted, getting a handle. Third down and three. Lamb is going to throw it. Look left initially. Nothing open. And he throws off his back foot. In Kick, maybe. Going for it. Lamb is going to throw, and it's knocked away. Income from the 20-yard line. They'll use their H-backs frequently. Lamb has been looking to the air early and often, and he hits the size. Good hands. Second down and short. And busting into the secondary goes up. RPO again by Lamb. He'll float it. Nobody open downfield. In completely on the other side of the field. Second and 10 from the 37. Upshaw with that horizontal cut, but there is not much there. App State trying to pick up a spark, so they go to the reigning Sun Belt Offensive Player of the Year. Is Cox. Second down and five. They bring a blitz off the edge and tripped up. Play clock inside 10. Lamb looking for that quick slant caught and a first down. Dante a hit. They lost four of their top eight wide receivers from a year ago. Play fake, reverse pivot. Lamb under pressure, forced to throw it away. Been so tough this season. Three receivers right. They run it that way. Look how hard they hit the hole in a first down. Sniffing at that red zone, same play. This time, Moore is met with five. Zeke Rodney goes about 305. They stay on the right side. They run the end around pass. Lamb to the end zone, looking for Duffield. All week. Actually, last two years. <laughs> From the 21 yard line, they will hand it off to Upshaw, and he is tracked down in the backfield. That depth has actually helped Edgefor in keeping him fresher, especially late in games. Quick hitter, Upshaw. Cut down right, the freshman Hennigan. Split left, matched up by Henderson. Pressure up the middle. Lamb is hit, but he throws a strike. Lewis on a hitch. Snap. He knew he was going to get hit. Didn't bother him. They put Lewis in motion. He's just the decoy as they run to the boundary side. And it does not. First and ten. They show the pistol look. Lamb a pump. Double route downfield. And Lewis has it go through his fingertips. Second and ten, penetration by Wake Forest, and a good job. Good field position when you've had the football. Top defensive line unit in there for Wake, and this is Upshaw on a shoestring tackle. Passes, two wide receivers to both set. They need to get it to the 43. They're looking for that slant, and it's caught by Watkins, and that is a... On first down, there is nowhere. 41st consecutive start today at defensive end. Second down, Hennigan the target. Good coverage by Bass. He took over for the legendary Jerry Moore and has successfully navigated this program from the FCS waters to the FBS. First side, five and a half to go in this second quarter and what's turned out to be a defensive dogfight. Lamb double clutches, fires, and a jug. In this concentration, back-to-back -back grabs by Zai Lepman, and now a huge hole for Jalen Moore, but a solid. Beat him. They're not as scared of Wake Forest, and right now they're playing with a lot of confidence. Lamb a play fake, takes a shot toward the sideline, and Hennigan holds it. Second down, they will go to the ground. You see Jalen Moore carrying the rear spot for this third down play. Pressure on the ball. Lewis in motion, third and eight. Lamb looking left all the way. Hennigan, a lot of space, makes the catch. And it's first half. From the 27, Lamb look right, comes back near side, on target with Lewis, nearly spun away. Down. App State with the two timeouts. They settle toward the sideline. Hennigan makes the catch. He cannot get him from the 38. 
Lamb sets the feet and throws off one. He was looking for him. Offense today only 106 so far. They'll field the H back. They come out throwing, making the catch is Williams and a good open field tackle. Yarberry, Rodney, edge of four, Dunn. The front four for Wake Forest. Nowhere to go for Lamb. Flush by Dunn. And he's four. Bomb is the best. Takes photogs every game. Hadn't missed the ball game, she said. She win ball games for you on Sundays. Second and ten from the 36. A play action for Lamb. Rolling right. Soft toss underneath. Duffield with his third catch of the penalty yardage from where Virgil was tackled. So a first down as they give it to Upshaw. And just before. Team to come back from your tough team to get off the field right now. And this against an ACC defense. A very good yeah. ACC D. Again, Lamb is flush, throws a pass into double coverage and nearly a crowd in Boone. Another third down. They're two for two on this drive. Lamb stays in the pocket, deflected and incomplete. And it's a backdoor rivalry. They should be playing. And you think they're excited now? Wait to 2020, I think it is, when Carolina comes to town. Carolina twice in the future years when they're not part of that normal conference rotation. Should play. Second down, give, look out, open field. They're not going to catch him. Watkins to the 30, Watkins to the 10, 5, touchdown, Axton. Half ball games this season. Taylor Lamb has thrown the ball 34 times. This will be his 35th pass of the game, and Lewis is unable to hang on. Good coverage, tight coverage. By Moore is the running back, the Sunbelt Offensive Player of the Year, trying to make some moves. He gets three, four yards before he has stood up. Still not going down. Finally a whistle. The officials were letting that one go for a while. I think it <laughs> they line up Williams and Sternod over that A gap here, and they both come. Lamb feeling the heat from Sternod, forced to throw it away. Solid call for two years, and they've won two bowl games. Just unparalleled success. You don't see that too often. In fact, the first everybody talks about that Michigan game, but the Appalachian folks are okay. Yeah, no big deal. We've been beating a lot of people. <laughs> over the left side for Terrence Upshaw. Still on his feet again. T.O. said, get your popcorn. Fourth quarter coming. Final play of the quarter. Penalty is thrown as Lamb side Stan Luter. Sean Kenny with you here in Boone, North Carolina. Second down give. Up past the 45 to the... Can you say SC top 10? There's a nominee right there. First down, they try to get that ground game going and nowhere. Motivate me. I might not be sitting here doing this if it hadn't been for Miss Cheek. So she told me you could just read, keep reading stuff. Read every day. So many unsung heroes. Malik Williams in motion. He lines up to the right of Lamb. Lamb looking toward the sideline. The sure-handed freshman makes the catch for the freshman from Greensboro. First down. They hand it off. Upshaw getting to the outside. Holding call will be having all to be seen. <laughs> First and 20 from the 25. And a big hole opens up. And Upshaw trying to. It's more. 13 carries, 31 yards. Upshaw, 81 yards. Trying to add to that total. Slips free from one. Motion opposite. Motion opposite. Lamb looking left, fires for Hennigan, has a step, and he can't make the one-hand catch. Second down and 10, that shovel pass that went for a touchdown earlier in the game. They flip. Do good Upshaw, you, you don't forget Lamb on the option. Third down and five, they will give it to Upshaw, and he has nowhere to go. They're thinking like... Play clock to one, they just do get the snap off, they hand it to Upshaw, and... Second and third effort. Yards after contact there for Upshaw to keep the drive alive. They go back to the ground and Zeke. Pressure and no penalties. From the 46, they bring Williams on a blitz and Lamb forced to throw it away.